Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai. All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and honors and salutations to all the sincere Akim laboring in the truth and sincerity. All right, uh, this is a, <clears throat> a quick impromptu, you know, through the Spirit, the Holy Spirit by Hashem Rakha Kodash, right? Uh, and I'm gonna call it. Take a look at yourself, you know. Take a look, and it means just just that, you know. what I'm saying, and every I guess every now and then the spirit, you know, have us do these reality check type videos, man. Because, you know, hey, the scriptures tell you that your adversary, the devil, go for about ruin, ruin uh, as a lion. Matter of fact, let me just let me, let me start there, and you gotta be aware of these things. You know, you gotta be you gotta be aware of these things. Uh, this is First Peter chapter five, verse eight. And matter of fact, I, I'm gonna probably jump back to the top. Let me read the eighth verse. It says, "Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour." So, the spirits is out there just because things might seem quiet. Don't think things are quiet. Don't fall asleep. It's easy to fall asleep. You know, you should never get to a point where you think you're comfortable in this truth. Like, you got the hang of it. You got the knack. Okay, yeah, this, I already know what's going to go. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to unfold my garment up, unfold it, set up the camp. You know, speak for 10 minutes. Then I'm going to fade away. Nah, you can't be doing that, man. You know what I'm saying? This truth, first of all, you better be sincere because it's going to come out. It's going to come out. And you got to remember... You know, especially brothers that are younger or not so much younger, brothers that came in in the beginning of the YouTube era and everything, the ones that still remain, you know, you got to make sure that you're still fighting and pushing, all right? And, and you know, Yahweh Shai is the ultimate example, all right? He, he fulfilled his course, all right? He laid his life on the line. He he didn't, you know, stray away, all right? You got the, the head apostles, you know, elder apostle Tar, apostle Gabal. Apostle Rakai, Apostle Ramla, and the other elder brothers that you see, you know, you should use us <coughs> as well as examples of continuing, enduring in this thing, and not sleeping, because here it is, we, and, and I've heard the apostles, you know, say it out of their own mouths, that they hope that they make it, you know, and I look at it, I'm like, man, y'all men of the Lord, because I can see it, you know, but that's the humility that they have, you have a shy said that you supposed uh you supposed to have that humility for the lord is gonna everything that is exalted should be abased right if i said it said it right and everything that's low should be exalted you know i don't know if i quoted it verbatim but basically it said the lord said he's gonna des destroy all the lofty looks all the high looks the proud looks and and it's truth and we gotta check ourselves you know we get on all these other camps and everything but even in gms you know even in gms things got to be run running the right way man okay things got to be running the fucking right way brothers can't be you no know, respect of persons oh i'm only gonna listen to you know the, the apostles the apostle tell me or one or one of the elders you know that's a that's a, a, a the wrong attitude man that's the wrong attitude and you got to always Stay in the spirit, man. You can't be just an Israelite when the cameras is on. You got to be an Israelite when the cameras are off. When you by yourself. And even more more importantly, when you by yourself, man. And matter of fact, jump, you know, read this scripture. <coughs> First Peter's 2. Um, I mean, this one's good too, but, you know, it's a thing of having a certain, you got to have a, a healthy fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Which comes through checking yourself, man. All right, but um, matter of fact, I gotta start start uh at thirteen. First Peter two and thirteen. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme. Yeah, because the Most High set up men in position, especially if you're part of the body. Is a thing called order. So there's certain men that are set up set up in position. With a certain order. All right, slack it. You know, you got to 
you gotta have it's men that the most side set in order and you know especially when you're young coming in this thing but even when you get to a, a certain age and it's it's uh truth it don't mean that you still don't have to honor the men the lord lord set up i'm talking about the real men of the, of the most side the brothers that are out there doing the work the brothers that who you learned this truth from such as the, the, uh, the apostles mm -hmm. and elders these are things that you got to continue in so it says submit yourselves to every ordinance of men because they're not going to tell you nothing wicked all right they're not going to tell you to take go get vaccinated they're not going to tell you go take the chip they're not going to tell you to join esau's army they're not going to tell you these things you understand so that's why you know it, but actually they watch for your souls as it tell you in hebrews the 13th chapter you see so that's why you got to make sure and it's about maturing and growing the fuck up man the scriptures say in malice be ye children but in understanding be men a lot of the bickerings that constantly go on with, with certain camps in certain camps certain brothers in the camps it's just a bunch of childish shit man that you brothers better fucking figure the shit out all right y'all better figure the shit out and, and, and sit down and learn how to fucking be brothers man learn how to be your brother's keeper man instead of a goddamn enemy or looking over, or I'm over you, or I ain't got to listen to you. That's all bull. The disciples ain't rolled like that. The apostles, from Apostle Tarn down, we don't roll like that. We never taught you, brother. We taught you, brothers, to have true love for each other. Yeah, you got to check your brother, but, man, you got to know when to have mercy. You better know how to communicate, you know, and get out of that bitch-ass spirit, man. You see? Because, hey, man, Yahweh Shai is coming, and we're not exempt, man. We got to... We gotta step step up our shit, man. You know, so a lot of and a lot of the stuff is fucking childish shit that's embarrassing. A lot of times, like where, where I'm like, man, some of you brothers, don't you see the way you, you're behaving? And it's not like you just came into this knowledge. You got brothers that just came into the knowledge that are on a higher level than brothers that've been around for a while. Like they know how, they they get it. They know how to be cool. They humble. You know, they ain't doing too much because sometimes you got a lot of. A lot of brothers, men, just like to sit there and mouth or just talk all the time. Just talk, talk. You get around the, the apostles, elders, or the higher-ranking brothers. You want to sit there and just talk, 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 just and not observing the time. Like, the scriptures say, there's a time to speak, man. And it's a time to keep quiet. You know, some brothers do got to learn how to shut the fuck up. You know? It's, it's just plain. It's, no, it's not disrespectful or nothing like that. No. The scriptures say, a wise man... We'll, we'll, we'll hear and increase learning, man. A wise man ain't going to be sitting there just blabbering and, and speaking all everything that's on his mind, his heart. Nah, he's going he's gonna to speak. When it's the time to speak, he's going to speak. You know what I'm saying? And he's going to know, you know, know know your place. If you're around great men, you're around head elder brothers, you got to you shut the hell up. Like when we, I came in, man, and, and the other brothers that came in with me, we knew... How to just and plus we wanted to just learn. We just listening, looking, listening, and learning. You know? And that spirit still ain't left me, man. You understand? How about Shimia Shah? I'm grateful for it. And the thing is, you gotta continue and that like the scriptures say, remember uh a call to remembrance the former days when you were first enlightened. When you first came in the truth, man. How you would endure all kind of tribulation and everything, man. Brothers get cabin fever, brothers been locked down, brothers got too much time on their hand, and brothers are harboring ill will toward each other. And y'all gotta stop that shit, man. Though to those who it pertains to, not all brothers, but you got brothers that are doing what they're supposed to be doing. But the brothers who who are entertaining them demons, y'all know who y'all are, man. You know, you gotta look, man. The, the time is gonna come where you're gonna really be glad that you got your brother on your side, man. All right, these dudes that fell off, and 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 they're hurt that they they don't have the the brotherhood around them no more, all right? And then after Satan finished with them, then they end up by themselves all alone, and they turn into bug outs, madmen, reprobates, retards. Then some of them want to turn around and try to get back in with brothers and everything, but they don't burnt all their bridges, man, you know? They burnt all their bridges, and the spirit of the Lord is against a lot of them. So you got to check yourself before you get put in those, you end up in those predicaments, man, you know? You don't think you're too good to check yourself. Don't think you're too good to say lock you, man. All right? And again, you ain't learned that from the apostles and elders, man. When you see the apostles, you see nothing but a, tons of humility. 
you know, men of faith, you know, you see the elders, the elder brothers, you see brothers that have been through it, that's that's fighting that fight, you know, that have that really have that true brotherly love, got each other's back. Okay, that's, that's when you see see the, the elders in the pot, the reason because we've been through all kinds of shit together, man. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the Lord had us together throughout fighting and battling, strengthening each other, cursing each other out, you know, exhorting each other, comforting each other, you know? And that's what you brothers are supposed to do, man. And I, I got some more scriptures. I'm going to start reading some of the other scriptures that I got after I read this. And I ain't going to make this too too long, but I'm just going to, I want to hit some points, man, because, you know, man, the bulls, then well, everything that's going on, man, Esau, you know, we're, we're months away from them issuing the chip, if it could be weeks, you know, we, we, we months, if not months or uh, uh, days of, uh, uh, since martial law for martial law to be breaking out and things of these nature, this nature, you understand? Like we're, we're that close to where, you know, it could be another shutdown, another quarantine. They're talking about uh, giving out another stimulus checks and this, that, and the third, because they plan on shutting shit down again. You know, you understand? So we're so close to the end, more closer than we ever was. But now, brother's gonna let let uh, Satan take a hold of him and have him sit there and hate your brother. The scriptures speak about hating your brother, especially without a cause, man. You gotta check yourself, man, because you think you can get like I always say. You know, you got brothers that think that they they you know they they get the angriest or whatever, right? You get so angry and you got all this hate, and you see it to the point where brothers are doing videos getting at other brothers and throwing shots and all this and going, you know what I'm saying? Just doing unnecessary shit. Got all kind of hate telling other brothers shit about other brothers like, like bitches gossiping and tell bearing, right? Your anger ain't nothing compared to the anger of the most high. And you don't want to trigger the anger of the most high on you, man. I'm telling you, you don't, you don't want that smoke, man. None of, I don't want that smoke. You know what I'm saying? So brothers who need to get it together, get it the fuck together. All right. It says, uh, let me jump, let me jump down to the point, uh, 18, it says, uh, servants be subject to your masters, well, 17, it says, uh, pardon me, brothers, I gotta read this whole thing, this whole thing is, is, is on point, <clears throat> it says, when to governors, or as unto them that are sent by him, for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do well. <clears throat> for so so is the will of the Most High that with well-doing you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of the Most High. So yeah, you brothers do got liberty. And a lot of, you know, not, I know, Oh, back in my days type shit or whatever, but just truth is truth. You brothers got a whole, way lot more liberty than what we had back in the days. Back in the days, you eat, you ate, slept, and bre breathed, you know, the truth. Like, you was at class every day of the week. Camp, uh, when we had the school, cleaning the school. You understand? We you probably stayed with brothers, so you was always, you know, eventually you started finding time to get some, some box or whatever, because, you know, Brothers that need to get boxed gotta get boxed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's just just plain and simple. But um, you brothers got a lot more liberty, you know, at this because of the time that we're in. But you can't be gassed up and don't think just because the apostles or elders or nobody's there or nobody sees you. More importantly, the angels are there. They they're right there. They they're looking they're looking right at you. And matter of fact, let me pull. It. That, that scripture out in Philippians, right? Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. It says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, because that's a man pleaser. And you got brothers out there that, you know, we got examples of that, that they will only get on point or listen because one of the, the high ranking brothers said it or one of the apostles or elders said it, you know, but instead of listening to their fellow brother, look, the Most High, he said, the comely parts of the body have more com comely, uh, ab abundant grace of the with the most high. So the most high, and he said he chooses the the uh, the foolish things of this world to confound the wise, right? 
Then it tells you in Apocrypha, I believe it is, in Ezra, I mean, Ecclesiasticus, that the Most High's secret is with the lowly. So here it is, you up there despising a young brother, a young man, but the Lord is speaking through him, the Lord is using him. But now, because he, you sitting up there, you respecting person, you know, well, you ain't one of the, I'm over you, you can't tell me nothing, I can't, you know? Nah, man, you brothers better learn true humility. Not to say that a young, a young man is supposed to stay in his place, but it don't mean that the Spirit of the Lord ain't going to have him say something that's on point. You got to listen, follow the Spirit, man. You can't be high-minded to where you can't listen to other brothers, man. You know, thinking just, oh, I'm, I'm older than you, or I'm over you. Nah, and that's why a lot of times a lot of older brothers, either they, they don't come in or they don't last long because the thought of having to take orders from a brother that, They've been on the earth longer than, you know, like I'm old enough to be your father. How the hell I got to take orders from you? And they don't understand that it's a humbling thing. All right. It's a humbling thing. You got to be born again. Really, your age, and I, the Spirit had me do a video, your age in the world is different from your age in the truth. But that's why, too, I, I, I marvel at the older brothers that are in and they they ain't even tripping over that, man. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's a, a bad brother, man. You know, and there's a few of them. I ain't gonna name name them, but you see them. They out there. They out there strong, and they ain't on no bullshit. Oh, well, you too young to not. Nah, they come the water, brother, and they learning from because Yahweh Shai said out of the mouth of babes anyway. So now, back in Philippians two and twelve, it says, "Wherefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling." You see? So meaning what? Working out your own salvation meaning is, is getting yourself in order, bringing your body under the subjection to the scriptures, man. Okay, which a big part of it is being a brother, man. You know what the Apostle Paul said? He said, matter of fact, let me see if I can pull it up real quick. 1 Corinthians chapter, chapter 14. And let me get... Bear with me. Bear with me. All right, Slack is actually it's the 13th chapter. Right, 13 and 1. <clears throat> so now check this out. This is uh 1 Corinthians 13 and 1. Right? It says, though I speak. Though I speak with the tongues of men of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become as a sounding brass or tinkling cymbal. Showing you how important it is. Charity means brotherly love, man. Whether you're sitting there, you're checking on your brother because you're supposed to check on your brother. Being your brother's keeper, helping your brother out if your brother need a hand. All right, considering your brother, taking a loaf for your brother. All right, it's, it's charity, man. Uh, uh, Correcting your brother, teaching your brother, showing your brother things in the scriptures, right? Teaching is charity too as well, right? So it said, though I speak with the tongues of tongues of men and, and of angels, meaning he could be the best spoken, most powerful speaker on the planet. But he said, if I don't have brotherly love, I'm like a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. Tinkling cymbal, which is musical in instruments, pardon me. It said, and though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries, because you got a lot of guys that try to be so super deep, try to out deep the apostles and elders. <coughs> you got guys that think that they're on higher levels than the, the ones who taught them, right? Thinking that that's what it's all about, trying to be so deep and, and going, break down every, you know, every single compound in the scriptures and other going into other books or whatever. What well, Apostle Paul said, look, even if I had to give a prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, I'm I'm on fire. So that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. You see? He said, I'm nothing. If he so that the, one of the key things is you gotta have charity for one another. All right? And that's that's the key thing, and it's truth, man. So it's beautiful. Yeah, of course we're supposed to teach 
and, and be diligent and everything, right? But you better make sure that you have true charity, true brotherly love for your brothers, man. You see? This is uh, John 13 and 6. Then cometh he to Simon Peter and said, and, P and Peter saith unto him, Lord, dost thou wash my feet? Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, What I do thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Because that was what he was doing was an example. Peter saith unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. Yahweh, because you know, Peter, like, nah, nah, Lord, you ain't nah. Yahweh Shai answered him, if I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. Right? That's what Yahweh Shai said. Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Peter said, oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, you wash my hands. You know, he he broke because he didn't, you know, Yahweh Shai was cold, man. He came, came at him cold. He said, look, if I don't, I don't wash your feet, you ain't got no part in this, this thing, man. You got no part in me. So then it's verse 10. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, he that is washed needeth not save to wash his feet. But it's clean everywhere, and you are clean, but not all. For he knew who should betray him, therefore said said he, You are not all clean. So yeah, you know, so he he, he which is Judas Iscariot, you know. So um it says, So after he had washed their feet and had taken his garments and was set down sat down again, he said unto them, Know ye what I have done to you? He said, you see this? See, I, wa I washed and scrubbed your feet and dried it off with of my own garment. He said, you call me master and Lord, and you, and you say, well, for I am. For so I am. He said, I'm your Lord. I'm over you, brothers and y'all, right? And you're right. He says, if I then, your Lord and master, have washed your feet, ye you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. You see? So that's that's the key. That's the example of how we're supposed to treat each other, man. Yahweh Shai humbled himself, man. He, of course he ain't have to do that, man. Right? We're supposed to be watching his feet, man, and, and serving him. But he served us. You see? And that's the thing, a lesson of humility, man. Humility is, is a key thing. Without humility, you know, you ain't going to make it, man. You're not going to make it without no humility. You got to have humility. And a lot of times things get lost. I mean, brothers might, you know, I don't know if brothers getting uh, um, what's the, what's the word? Uh, uh, with a tired of waiting, they start bugging out and everything. Look, man, this this is a whole process of waiting. That's why Yahweh Shai said, "In your your patience, possess ye your souls." This is the big waiting game, man. We gotta wait for Yahweh Shai. Later for any of these simple ass niggas, niggas that can't get the hell with these niggas, man. But you brothers are supposed to be on point, man, with each other. You're supposed to have the understanding and be perfectly joined together, man. That's how we got to roll. We got to be perfect like Yahweh Shai and the Most High are, man. We got to be joined together like, like they are. All right? And, and it's because it's a body. The scriptures speak about it. Fitly joined together. That's how we got to be. Can't be no fucking isms and schisms. Get past whatever isms and schisms. And again, this is pertaining to who... Those who it may pertain to, man. You know? I mean, the spirit having certain things come come out. And there's other things that don't come out. You know? But you brothers know what's going on. And y'all need to uh, patch it up, man. Brothers need to do some counseling and have some soul searching and d deal with it, man. Because at the end of the day, you know, the the apostles, the brothers, other brothers, the heads, they're not responsible. Brothers told you. You know what I'm saying? Every man is responsible at the end of the day. For his own, that's why it said, let every man work out his own salvation with fear and trembling. You know? And don't, don't be in that thing, oh, they ain't talking about me. No. Humble yourself. And maybe it might not be, you might not pertain to you. But still, check yourself, man. Hey, can them spit this flesh? You know, the flesh is, 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 is weak, man. And we all in the flesh. We all could go off, man. Them demons could get on all of us, man. To have, you know, and the thing is, you got to be... You got to have character enough to admit it, man. The Lord said, only acknowledge thy, thy offenses, man. See, this world teaches you not to give up nothing, like not to back down, not to say, hey, brother, I'm sorry, you know. This this world teaches you to be emotional like a bitch, to make sure you get the last word, you know. They, they look, they, see, it's not fair to wait. Look, man, 
Just fuck all that bullshit, emotional shit, man. Brothers be brothers, man. You know? And that's because, look, things are, I mean, you brothers got to see what's happening out here, man. The times we ain't really these times, brothers should be rejoicing together even more often, man. All right? More often. And, and again, there's brothers that, you know, but this ain't for everybody. There are brothers that's, you know what I'm saying? But there's brothers that could tighten up their they brotherhood. You know what I'm saying? Because this shit, it's supposed to be a, a, a real brotherhood. You heard what the Apostle Paul was just saying in Corinthians, man. If, if he had all the revelation, but if he ain't had the charity, the brother, brotherly love, then he was nothing. And, and you see what Yahweh Shai, how he treated the disciples, showing you that, look, this is how you treat each other. He said, he said you should not rule over each other like as lords, man. All right, so that, because brothers ain't your personal servants neither. It's because the brothers knew in the truth. Don't don't uh, uh, abuse that power that you have in your how about Shemiah was shot because the Lord could remove your candle. All right, so now this is Proverbs uh, 16 and I'm going to go to 18. <coughs> it says, pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. So you got to be careful of that pride, man. You know, it says better it, it is to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. All right. So you want to be of a, a humble spirit, man. At the end of the day, you want to be of a humble spirit, you know, and you got to, you know, send up this, the prayers, the Psalms, Psalms 51. The Lord, renew a right spirit within you because we all go off, man. But the thing is, is that you got to repent, go to the most high, connect. With the most high, connect with your brother. Because the most high said, How you gonna say you love me? And you, you hate your brother that you see. You don't see me, and you saying you love me, but you hate the man that you see. You know, so that 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 can't be. If a brother, you know, brothers fuck up and be bugging out and got ways about them. But hey, have patience with brothers. Learn how to work with brothers, you know. Learn how to, you know, give brother the benefit of doubt when it's neat, when it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if a dude is just a nigga. Then the hell with him. You know what I'm saying? Then yeah, of course, he gotta go if he's just a straight up nigga demon doing niggerish shit. But I'm talking about brothers, your brothers you've been in combat with. Don't be sitting there letting Satan that's Satan making you turn on that brother or those particular brothers. All right? And in in the spirits making you think that, you know, you're right in your cause, man, and you're not. You're not, not in that situation. You see? So, matter of fact, let me get uh let me get Proverbs eight, the eighteenth chapter. Proverbs 18 and, and, and 12. It says, Before destruction, the heart of a man is haughty, and before honor is humility. You see? Remember that. Before honor comes humility. All right? So now, I don't know if I finished First Peter. I'm get ready to close, close it up. Just want to touch on a few things. Um... I started 18. It says, servants be subject to your masters. No, 17, pardon me. 17, I think, is where we left off. It says, honor all men. You see? And that's speaking about of the brotherhood that's in the truth. All right? And, and you should honor a brother whether you over or underneath him, man. You know? That's a great man right there. The scriptures say that the, the lowest brother in the kingdom is going to be as King David. As, as an angel... Of the Lord, so you know those we, Israel is kings. If you in the truth, treat the brother with with some type of respect, man. Scripture say, "The greater thou art, the more thou humble thyself." Love the brotherhood. You see, love the brotherhood, meaning you know you, you're always willing to help out. You know you you're checking on the brothers and everything. You see, and sometimes certain it's good to have have little powwows, man. It's good to sit there. Hey, one of the things back in the days we used to do, Pastor Tar used to have us. We used to go watch movies together. We used to do shit like that together. You know what I'm saying? Break bread together. You know? And we still do it, you know, but it's just now things, you know, we're spread out a little bit more. This, you know, this, this truth done grew, grew like a mustard seed, you know, like the Lord said. You understand? But sometimes you might have to do, do these things, man. You know, chop it up. Hey, bro, let's go check out a flick, man. And, you know, well, we, you know, we in quarantine times, but, you know, figure it out. You know, you know what I'm saying? How y'all connect. You know, and, and, and a lot of times you see that the issues or whatever that you had was really no issues, man. You see, and don't let them, 
Don't let Satan, you know, trick you out out this out this thing, man. Trick you out of the truth, man. Which really is the most high if you do fall out, because at the end of the day, the truth is really for the elect. The elect are the only ones that's really going to endure to the end. You see, it says, "Uh, sir, uh, fear the most high, honor the king. Servants be be subject to your masters with all fear, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the forward." For this is think worthy if a man for conscience toward the most high endure grief, suffering wrongfully. So yeah, so brothers got a, a lot of you brothers ain't even familiar with that, man. That's that's like a rights to passage, man. Because why? Yahweh Shai suffered wrongfully, man. All right? So we're, we're following his footsteps. We're carrying his cross. Guess what? We're going to be put in positions where you got to suffer wrongfully, man. You know? And and keep your, and maintain your integrity, just like Job. Job, Satan attacked Job heavy, but he still didn't curse the Most High. You gotta put have that spirit, man. Don't be getting tired and, and, and or complacent, you know, disenchanted, nervous, scared, worrying about what. Nah, man. Bro, Yahweh Shai gave us the victory already, man. You see, let the Most High, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, do what he's gonna do. All right, don't be bugging out. Of getting out of character with your brother and everything over fucking petty shit, man. Nah, man, this ain't the time for that, man. It says, For what glory is it when you be buffeted for your faults, you should take it patiently. But if when you do well and suffer for it, you take it patiently, this is acceptable with the most high. Because you know what that means? That means that you got character, man. You know, when you're able to take the low. You understand? It says, for even here in two were ye called, okay, to catch hell. Because Yahweh Shai also suffered, see, for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. Who, who did no sin, neither was God found in his mouth, who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. Yeah, Yahweh Shai didn't sit there and go back and forth with, with, with uh, the Romans. Said, you know, man, fuck you niggas, you bitch ass niggas. Watch, man, the most I going to fuck y'all up, man. I'm coming back to get you, nigga. He ain't sit there, you know. He ain't say nothing. He, was, he just endured it, man. Of course, that's why he said the day of vengeance is burning in him, though. You know, because, hey, how is Shai is, you know, you know, a warrior. He's, he's the son of the of a, of, of the man of war, the most High himself. So, how is Shai is one of the ultimate warriors, too. You know, true warriors, should I say. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but he knew he had to do a job. He had to do what the Most High said, so he had to endure it. And he didn't, when he, when he was reviled, he reviled not. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judges righteously. And see, and that's why Jake get fucked about this. They don't understand that Esau is put in power right now and that you can't physically go and take him down because the Most High backed him to fulfill prophecy for his sake. You know, it says, and but committed himself to him that judges right righteously. So yeah, so I'm a, I'm gonna end it right there, man. You know, ho hopefully you brothers, you know, edified. But the bottom line is, man, a lot of you know, you gotta the scriptures say, be hearers, don't be hearers of the word, but be doers of the word. You know, it's it's beautiful. Brothers know scriptures. Brothers could quote scriptures, but what's even better than that is brothers could apply scriptures. All right, that's what brothers need to do. All right, all the energy you, you put into, you know, hating on, I'm talking about brothers. This is some true brothers, like real brothers, brothers that been in the knowledge that you banged out with, that you endured, you know, all kind of battles, probably got arrested with for the truth's sake, you know, been up late at night and suffered and cried on his shoulder. If you lost a loved one or caught some hell in this truth that made you break down, you might have, you know what I'm saying? Then now all of a sudden you're going to let some bullshit, petty shit separate you. What does that say about your character, man? You know? So, but anyway, hey, you know, I pray you brothers, you know, uh, take it for what it's worth. And if if it didn't apply, you know, Salaki, I wasn't, you know, it's just certain things that are happening, a few things I'm seeing, you know, and, and right now, it definitely ain't the time for, for to be going backwards, man. That's going backwards, you know? But anyway, uh, all glory and honor to Yahweh, Shai, and I say Shalom.